टू गेट द फ्री नोट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स चेक द लिंक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड इंस्टॉल द ऐप फॉर फ्री नोडल एनालिसिस क्वेश्चन फाइंड द करंट इन फोर्टी ओ होम एंड टेन ओ होम रेजिस्टेंस हेयर इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट थ्रू दिस फोर्टी ओ होम रेजिस्टेंस एंड दिस टेन ओ होम रेजिस्टेंस बाय यूजिंग नोडल एनालिसिस सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स कंसिडर दिस इज नोड वन विथ वोल्टेज वी वन एंड दिस इज नोड टू विथ वोल्टेज वी टू नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अज्यूम दिस इज अ रेफरेंस नोड और ग्राउंड नोड विथ जीरो वोल्टेज नाउ लेट्स अज्यूम दिस इज करंट आई वन ऑल द करंट्स टूवर्ड्स दिस रेफरेंस नोड फ्रॉम दिस पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू दिस रेफरेंस नोड नाउ लेट से दिस इज करंट आई टू दिस इज करंट आई थ्री दिस इज करंट आई फोर एंड दिस इज करंट आई फाइव और लेट से दिस इज करंट आई फाइव फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव टू दिस ग्राउंड लेट से दिस इज करंट आई फाइव सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू अप्लाई के सी एल एट नोड वी वन अप्लाई के सी एल एट नोड वी वन के सी एल स्टैंड फॉर किरछॉफ करंट लॉ नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू के सी एल समेशन ऑफ ऑल द करंट्स एंटरिंग अ नोड इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ ऑल द करंट्स लिविंग द नोड नाउ हेयर वी कैन सी एट दिस नोड वी वन द एंटरिंग करंट इज दिस आई वन इट इज द एंटरिंग करंट सो लेट्स राइट एंटरिंग करंट फर्स्ट आई वन एंड इट इज इक्वल टू लिविंग करंट और आउट गोइंग करंट The leaving currents are I two and I three. So here we can write I two plus I three. I two plus I three. Now this I one in voltage form will be fifty minus V one divided by fifteen. Fifty minus V one divided by fifteen. It is equal to I two. Now I two will be V one minus zero. Divided by ten. V one minus zero divided by ten. Then this plus as it is, then I three. This I three will be V one minus twenty. We take higher voltage minus lower voltage. So V one is the higher voltage we are considering, and this twenty volt is the lower voltage. So it will be V one minus twenty first. V one minus twenty. Then again, this is also the lower voltage we are considering because current is flowing from V one to V two. So it will be V one minus twenty minus V two. So minus V two divided by resistance value. The value of resistance is twenty ohm. So twenty ohm is this. If this resistance was absent that time, this will be a Super node, but here the resistance is present, so that's why we will solve it like this. Now next, let's simplify this. So it will be fifty divided by fifteen minus V one divided by fifteen. Then if we take this on left side, so it will be minus V one by ten. Then it will be again minus V one by twenty. Then minus twenty divided by twenty. This will be plus if we take this on left side, and this will be again plus v two divided by twenty is equal to zero. Now let's take v one common from here. So if we take v one common, then it will be minus one by fifteen. Minus one upon fifteen, then minus one upon ten. Minus one upon ten, then minus one upon twenty. Minus one by twenty. So it will be minus thirteen by sixty. Minus thirteen divided by sixty. Minus thirty. Thirty minus thirteen divided by sixty. 
now again we take this v2 common so it will be 1 upon 20 so it will be 1 divided by 20 so 1 divided 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05 0 0.05 now we solve this constant so it will be 50 divided by 15 50 divided by 15 then plus this will be 1 so plus 1 it is 13 divided by 3 so plus 13 divided by 3 is equal to 0 so 50 divided by 15 then plus 1 so we got 13 divided by 3. Now we will take this on right side. So let us directly copy this here and it is equal to minus 13 divided by 3. Let us take this as equation number 1. Now we will apply KCL at node v2 apply kcl at node v2 now here again the entering currents are i i3 and i5 these are the entering currents so i3 plus i5 i3 plus i5 is equal to I4. I3 plus I5 is equal to I4. Now we will write this I3 in voltage form. So it will be again same V1 minus 20 minus V2. V1 minus 20 minus V2 divided by resistance value is again it is 20. So 20 then plus I5 this i5 in voltage form will be 15 minus v2 15 minus v2 divided by resistance value the value of resistance is 30 ohm so 30 it is equal to i4 now i4 in voltage form will be v2 minus 0 divided by 40 v2 minus 0 divided by 40 now let's simplify this so it will be v1 divided by 20 v1 divided by 20 minus 20 divided by 20 then minus v2 divided by 20 v2 divided by 20 then plus 15 divided by 30 then minus v2 divided by 30 then if we take this on left side so it will be minus v2 divided by 40 it is equal to 0 now let's take this v1 common here so it will be v1 in bracket 1 upon 20 is again 1 divided by 20 is 0 0.05 so it will be 0 0.05 then if we take this v2 common so plus v2 in bracket minus 1 upon 20 minus 1 upon 20 then minus 1 upon 30 minus 1 divided by 30 minus 1 divided by 20 then minus 1 divided by 30 then minus 1 divided by 40 minus 1 divided by 40 So this will be minus 13 divided by 120 minus 13 divided by 120 now we will solve this constant so it will be minus 1 so let's write minus 1 20 divided by 20 is minus 1 then plus 15 divided by 30 so 15 divided by 30 it is minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 or we can directly 
take this on right side so it will be plus 0.5 now let's say this is equation number 2 now we got two equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 so solving equation 1 and 2 we get v1 is equal to and v2 is equal to so let's solve this mode 5 then 1 so it is minus 13 divided by 60 then it is 0 0.05 0 0.05 then minus 13 minus 13 divided by 3 then from equation 2 this will be 0 0.05 it is minus 13 divided by 120 and it is equal to 0, 0 0.5 now this will be v1 is equal to 21.19 21.19 volt and v2 is equal to 5.16 5.16 volt is the value of V2 but here in this question we have to find find the current in 40 ohm and 10 ohm resistance so we have to find current I4 and current I2 so first of all let's find the value of current I2 I2 will be equal to I10 ohm that is the current through 10 ohm so I10 ohm and it is equal to v1 minus 0 divided by 10 v1 minus 0 divided by 10 the value of v1 is 21.19 divided by 10 so it will be 2.119 ampere so this is the value of i10 ohm 2.119 ampere now next is i40 ohm so i4 is equal to i40 ohm i4 is equal to i40 ohm is equal to this will be v2 minus 0 divided by 40 v2 minus 0 divided by 40 the value of v2 is 5.16 5.16 divided by 40 5.16 divided by 40 so it is equal to 0 0.129 0 0.129 ampere is the value of current i 40 ohm that is the current through 40 ohm resistance it is 0 0.129 ampere so this is how we can find the values of current by using nodal analysis check the link in the comment section and install the app for free thanks for watching